Well, good day, pilots. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim. So I'm so excited since this game first came out there. I've been wanting something that went really fast. Well, Microsoft released a plane here called the Dark Star that gets you up into the stratospheric flight, as you can see over here. And uh, man, it goes fast. Holy spaceship fast kind of thing. And the plane looks like a spaceship. It's pretty cool. We'll uh, find a place to take off here. Um, this thing, I've had uh, one flight in it already just to see how it was. And I uh, had it up to Mach 10, like way high. We'll have a look at the specs of it here in a second when we get in here. Um, but yeah, Microsoft. Microsoft released a free DLC. Free. Microsoft and free. That's two words that don't go together too often. <laughs> Microsoft and free. So, once this loads up here, we'll have a look at this Dark Star plane. It looks more like a spaceship to me, but holy smokes. It's uh, got the regular engines on it, and then once you do this certain s stuff way up there, procedures, it um, you light up the secondary engines, and holy man does it go. I don't know how it works, um, if it's even real. I have no idea, but we'll, uh, huh, we'll give her a shot here if this ever finishes loading for us and um, all this Maverick movies come out they've come up with this Maverick DLC thing and this planes in it and uh, all the landing challenges I haven't tried them yet on the aircraft carriers yet but that'd be uh, pretty interesting too but uh, stratospheric flight is uh, extremely fast like I said Mach 10 plus it uh, stopped at Mach 10 I don't know if I was going faster than that or not but you're talking like 5,300 knots, like, it's pretty darn fast. Most of our little planes here, they go, you know, 115, 120, some of the smaller propeller planes are civilian planes, we'll say. Boy, this is taking its sweet time, isn't it? Loading up slowly but surely coming, but anyways, it's pretty fast, that's for sure. Okay, finally loaded up. <laughs> so, let's have a look at this Dark Star Experimental. That's it there, we'll look at it on the runway, too. Uh, so we're talking 5,300 knots, <laughs> 150,000 feet, if not more, range of 2,500 nautical miles. So that it does eat up fuel pretty quick. But uh, we're going to need a bit of room to uh, get this thing up to speed. So let's find somewhere decent sized runway uh, over here. That'll be better. Um, I think we're just going to fire it up right on the end of the runway so it's all going for us. We can head straight out then, which is good too. And we're going to head to... Well, I think we better go a little further than that. We'll try to head back to Pearson by me here. Set as arrival. Okay, so we're definitely out of our range, but I can add fuel if we have to. Just for experimenting fun. Okay, let's fire up here. And, uh, yeah, there's quite a procedure to get her to go into super, super wicked, super fast sonic speeds. But um, they have a training thing in here. It's just totally silly. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. I can understand some of it, but then they want you... Uh, they want you to climb at a 10 degree, with the afterburner on, 10 degree um, climb uh, to about 35,000 feet. Then they want you to invert and go down 10 for a short time to get your speed up a little bit and then re-invert normal. And uh, so you can get over three, um, Mach 3 and then you hit the other engines and then it takes you to outer space basically. It's, it's kind of weird how it works, but I guess that's the way it is. But anyways, it's a little bit dark here. We got to... Actually, there's one thing I probably should set. Um, failures and stuff. I've got failures turned on now. Where was that? Data. Flight model. Miscellaneous. Oh, where was that failure thing? Not there. Camera sound. I've got it turned on so it's more realistic, but with this kind of plane, uh... Uh, I don't know whether I want to uh, have that on or not. Where the heck was that now? Miscellaneous. Options, assistance options, probably. 
Uh, air, yeah, failure and damage. So we'll turn this. Crash damage disabled. Stress damage disabled. Engine stress damage disabled. Icing effect, that's okay. Okay. Just in case. <laughs> we don't want to get ruined right away, but uh, now let's have a look. See, we'll keep this nice and bright. The weather. Okay, let's have a look at this thing outside here first. It's... Uh, pretty cool looking it's pretty cool looking I must say she's definitely got some aerodynamic to it we'll say some aerodynamics and uh, there's the engines here and I don't know how these secondary engines work but it's pretty darn impressive I must say all right so we'll uh, we'll hit her here we got two 1047 nautical miles to do here. I don't know whether we'll get it all done, but we'll just get up and show you this thing. Um, get the radar on there so we kind of know where we're heading. Pretty much straight up. Okay. Let's shrink that down a little bit. All right. Brakes should be off. Yep. Okay. Let's, uh, juicer here. You'll see the afterburners come in here. There we go. So just look at the speed coming up already on this thing. It's insane. Hopefully I can get off here alright. Oh yeah. Gear's gone up. Should have anyways. Alright, so <clears throat> we got to get up to 35,000 feet and then do a bit of a 10 degree climb or descent, sorry. You can see our mock speed up there, so we're doing around 10 there now. And that'll get us up to 35,000 pretty quick, and then we got to do a, a bit of a, a dive, I guess we'll say, to uh, a bit of a dive to get our speed up over Mach 3. Look how far we've we've come already though from from the airport like this thing's fast on its own you light up these other engines which I'm gonna just get the fuel cells turned on first that's the fuel cells for them this is the engines here now we gotta fire that guy on when it when we're ready over the Mach 3 and holy man you better make sure you're belted in let me tell you alright let's uh so we're almost Mach 1. Once you kind of get up there, there's not really a whole lot of uh, maneuvering. It's, it's just kind of goes. You can maneuver, but it'll actually sometimes take it out of the hyperdrive engine, we'll say. We're up to 11,000 already. We could probably climb a little faster than that. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, too. So once you get up to the 35,000, they want you to go inverted, which is, you know, flip upside down, and then dive for a short time, and then flip back up. It, it makes no sense to me. I'm like, this is silly. Why would I do that? <laughs> you could just get up high enough here and then start diving straight down. Not, not straight down, but at about a, 10, a little bit more than 10%, maybe. And, uh, and then you can easily, like, get your speed up, level off, and then hit your engines, and away we go. Like, it's, why, why can't we just get up here and hit the engines? <laughs> That's what my thought is. You know? Doesn't make a lot of sense, but I think it needs a lot of airflow. More airflow. Like, you can see it's actually cooling down here a little bit. It's under 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit now. But if you get up too high... I think there's a problem with the engines not able to light because there's less oxygen. So that's right around that 35,000 they want you to kind of start the dive then. Get the engines fired up and then uh, once they kind of spool up and get going then you uh, bring it back down 10 degrees. Or, uh, once they start to spool up they uh, they light up and away they go so it's pretty pretty impressive. 
589, 590 knots, and we're still climbing it at 10 degrees. Well, less than 10 degrees. But, uh, holy smokes, like, look how far we've already come here. Just about on the, the water here. Keep that zoomed out, I guess. Just about over the water here. All right, we're at 30,000. Just going to slowly level down a little bit here. It's very touchy, the controls on this thing, I must say. That'll do itself there. Um, I've never started this thing up. I guess all the controls are here, right? Engine stuff must be a... I don't know, I'll have to try it to uh, start. Somewhere here, a landing light that could go off. All right, we'll keep up here. So almost one mock there. What are we at now? Thirty-three thousand. We're getting there. Hopefully this works all right here. Uh, I've only done it once, like I say. So all right, we'll kind of level off here. Bring her down to a plane. Plane, plane. Whoa, 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 whoa. easy. All right, we'll start coming down a little bit. Get our mocks coming up there now. That's good. That's what we want. No more than 10, though. And around 10 should be good because you don't want to lose your anything else. So that'll take a little bit. We could probably go a little bit more down and get her to come up faster. But that doesn't make sense. Why wouldn't you just get up here and just hit those engines and go? But you can see they're uh, warming up a whole lot more here. <laughs> They're getting a lot more temperature in them now. Getting ready to, to fire up. So we're still at 25. We lost 10,000 feet already, so we better get this uh, fired up here soon. Makes me a little nervous doing it this way, because it's like you're, you're going down there fairly quick. Actually, maybe level out a little bit. Come on, baby, level up. Okay, we are we are we are getting to that point where we're gonna have to light these things here. And holy smokes, here we go! Scramjet! Oh 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 boy! And it goes quiet. Look at the speed! Here we go. We better get her going up again oh what happened there something didn't work uh oh why did we lose all our engines that's not good that's not good Guess that's why it's experimental, huh? Oh no, that's not good. Let's see if we can get this going here again. We're losing speed rapidly. That's weird. Why did that just ugh, flamed out on me? Maybe I should have leveled out a little more there or something. Uh oh. Come on, baby. Hmm. Everything just flamed out on me. I, I just don't really see why that happened. I might not be able to get this started up here again. Because I have no idea how to start this thing. <laughs> I got no clue. APU Master is on. Oh, 
Oh boy. Now we're not doing too good. We're gonna have crash in here. Turn those off and that off for a minute. Yeah, we're not doing too good. Okay, well, let's just restart that. <laughs> I don't know why it did that. Everything just seemed to flame out. I must have did something wrong there. I, I don't know. Well, we'll just scrap that plate. <laughs> There's one $150 million into the, into the, into the ocean, I guess. All right, <clears throat> let's try that again. Uh, let's see here. We're going to turn that to nice out. And, um, parking brake off. There we go. Okay, well, let's try this again. That's a pretty cool plane, let me say. Alright, let's see if we can get up there a little faster. We'll get her this time, I'm sure. Maybe uh, still losing a bit of speed though, even going up that, that steep. You wouldn't think so, but well, we are actually we're losing speed on the one but gaining on the other, so. Yeah, I don't know why it all flamed out there like that. It sh shouldn't have done that. Maybe because I didn't level out. That's probably what it was before I hit the engines on. It seemed to kind of take off on its own there real fast, so well, we'll see what happens here. <laughs> it's a bit scary, this thing, honestly. But once we get her up to speed here, man, it was starting to light up there real good, and then, I don't know, she backed out or something like that. Something went weird. Probably should give myself some more fuel too. In flight fueling. Okay, we're at the Mach 1 almost again there. I think that's just the normal afterburner speed. Didn't take as long to get up this high, that's for sure. We'll come down. See, I'm looking at this right here. Whoa, easy. Easy. Alright, we'll go a little higher, maybe. And we'll go to 36 or 37,000 or something. They wanted you to go inverted here and go. I don't understand why. Like just go down. Just, just, just start. You know, a, a descent. It doesn't make sense why they wanted us to to do that. Okay, so we'll go down. Our ten percent. We should start building speed up. cells on too maybe fuel cell battery We're a little bit more than 10 we better come up a little bit we'll level off right at that perfect plane there when 
here, but we get the speed up enough here. So we're definitely dropping like a stone. Thousand we're down to. Better get myself lined up a little better this way too. Come on, baby. Went faster last time. It seems to pick up near the end here real fast. I corrupted Mach 2 already. Look, look at her building speed now up here. I guess I could descend a little faster too. Now we're picking up a bit of speed. 40. Start bringing her back up again. Okay, come on back up. Don't do that same thing again. It won't come up for me for some weird reason. Come on, baby. Get back up. Now we're losing speed again. What's going on here? Why did, how come we lost so much altitude so fast? We're down to 3,500 feet. That, that's not right. What's going on here? Something's acting weird here. I'm going to light up these engines anyway and see what happens. They flamed out again, didn't they? Did it? No. No. She's going. She's lit. There we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, I don't like that sound. Oh, they're still going. Yeah, okay. We've got the secondaries burning now. Six, six mock. It goes so fast that this can't even keep up. We're going 75, 80,000 feet. We are going to the outer space, boys. 90,000 feet. 95,000 feet. 4,700 knots, 48, 49, 5,000 knots. It's supposed to go 53, but we're going to definitely be exceeding that. 112, 115,000 feet. She's already on fire because we're like going so fast. You can see the red of it. Holy smokes, this thing is going. We're pretty much into outer space now. <laughs> Long way up, 1900 and... That's not even counting it down, it's so fast. Go fast, we're moving on the map too. <laughs> we're still 150,000 feet. So you leave your full afterburner and your, all your other engine on. This is the secondary engines burning here now. Holy smokes, eight. So I could uh, probably try to bring this down a little bit here. Eight point three one knots, eight three three. You don't have a whole lot of maneuverability up this high though. This going this fast. Try to get us going that ten knots here. Whoa boy. Easy, easy. Try to keep it on, on a plane level. We can actually see like the curvature, I guess, of the Earth on here. <laughs> Where we can kind of see it up here. Where's the moon? Do we see the moon anywhere? I don't know. I can see stars. That's pretty cool. Looks like we're actually pitching down, too. I don't really want that. So there, she's all lit up, boys. It's not even counting down for me. The 
right over the ocean now you can't really get an idea of how fast we're actually going here 5303 nautical miles we're doing 167,200 we're still kind of climbing a little bit it's like so quiet up here we're so far ahead of our noise right if I do this though um, Oh, it's not even doing anything. But how these engines work, I have no idea. I have no idea. Super sonic. Holy super, super. Still only going, not going super fast yet, though. I've had that up to 10 before. It was pretty quick. There's your heat of your engine, so... Oof. Exhaust temperature, I guess. There's some land coming up here. I don't even know what that's going to be. Like, imagine we're here and our sound is probably, like, way the heck back here somewhere. It's so, so fast. It's like, it heats right up. It's pretty cool. So this might be Cuba? No? One of the thingies over here. I'm not too sure. Super ultra fast, though. I think we got her pretty much level plane there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We're not really losing speed or anything. We're still going up awful fast, though. Why are we climbing so much? Trying to bring that nose down a little bit. Don't know if it has any autopilot in this or not. Um, don't think so. Most of the stuff you can't do anything with. Defog. I don't know. Well, now we're going down at 11,000 feet. Oh, there you can see the numbers counting there. Such a fine, fine amount of numbers. But look how much fuel we're down already. We were at 100% there not too long ago, so she eats up fuel pretty quick. So what is that piece of land there? This has got to be like Cuba and stuff here. Um, yeah. I believe that's Cuba. We're going to come up and over here. Yeah. And Florida's the tip of Florida there. I wish the map zoomed out more. Holy smokes, this thing is fast. It uh, apparently only takes you to fly from one side of the United States to the other, uh, 34 minutes. <laughs> it's pretty quick. Rather than uh, how long in a plane, like six, seven, eight hours maybe. Now, I've tried to land this thing once. It did not go well. This thing is really hard to land, so we'll probably just nosedive it <laughs> into whatever but uh, holy smokes darn near into outer space here I'd say but uh, yeah here comes Cuba Cuba Let's have a look at nearest airport list. They'll be changing around pretty quick, I'm sure. Yeah. Anyways. We're still gaining like 181,000 feet. Holy smokes. I think it was 150,000 feet, wasn't it? Something like that. Man, what would it cost to run this this kind of an experimental plane for an hour, though, eh? Oh, man. Look at how red the nose is getting. How's that not melting? <laughs> it's all the friction friction from the atmosphere doing that. There gives you an idea how fast we're going, though. When you can see the land just gone. 
190,000 feet. I'm just going to let her keep climbing here. See, the thing is, if you throttle this thing back, it just... And that's it. And good luck trying to get those engines started. You probably could if you did that dive again. You know, maybe they'd fire right back up. I don't know. I'm not going to try that, though. But we're almost 200,000 feet up. I don't think you're supposed to go that high with this. It might just eventually melt. So, this actually might be, uh, which you call it, that island. Oh, I can't remember now, but we're going to kind of miss Florida. Florida's going to come out. Well, that's Florida right there. The tip of Florida is right there, so. We seem to be tracking pretty straight, though, along the line. That's kind of nice. So quiet up here because I guess there's no real air, right? Way up here. Oh man, we're over 200,000 feet. Something's gonna melt here. This tip of this thing's got to be just about ready to. <laughs> You'd think, anyways. 57. Let's see what's our speed. Yeah, we're almost 10, 10 uh, Mach 10 there now. Wow, eh? That's amazing. So I killed this thing now. Just we slowed right down. Almost Mach 10. It's still gaining speed, too. Wow. And we're still going up. 31,000 feet a second. Or a minute, sorry. Holy smokes. Oh, finally. This one's counting down. 1150, 49, 48, 47, 46. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, there's Florida. That'll actually be a nice little uh, spot to be here. So, anybody else in the dark star here? Let's see. See anybody else? These guys are <laughs> normal height. <laughs> F A E F A F A eighteen. F eighteen. There's a dark. It's like this guy here. What's this one below us? Don't know what he is. So they'll see me up here and they're just phew, gone. Oh, he's in orbit. <laughs> he's in orbit. Well, there's Florida. That's pretty darn cool to see her way up here like this. See all the other players down there too. That's kind of neat. She's definitely good and warm. We're still climbing. Holy smokes. And I've got this on. Oh, well, we are kind of climbing. I'm just going to let her keep climbing see what happens. See how high we can actually go here. We are at Mach 10 and Mach 10 plus. It could be even more than Mach 10. I don't know. It stops at Mach 10, so... I don't really know how fast we're going. 53. I don't even think this is quite reading right. Well, it says Mach 10.02 there, so maybe that's more accurate. I don't know, but... So, we technically don't have a whole lot more to go. Until we get to Pearson. <laughs> Probably end up running out of fuel by then, though. Might have to do the in-flight refueling thing again, so. That's pretty cool. You can see the whole state of Florida here. Pretty much. Kind of goes up here and then widens out, of course, right? Pretty darn cool. Oh, there's a dark. He's uh, 290,000 feet, too, about up where we are. He's a little higher than us, actually. 270 is about... Well, it's going up again. So you can see how high that is, right? Comparing. Oh, I lost him. Going that fast, I lost him. Oh, 100,000 nautical miles left. Won't take long to get there. There's another dark. He's just taking off, maybe. FA-18. Pretty cool. Nine hundred nautical miles left. Fifty-two percent fuel. Don't think that's going to last, but <laughs> anyways. See, so we're going up the side of Florida, east side of Florida here now. Don't know where that dark is. Is that? Is there? Must be a 
runway down there or something. Pretty darn cool, though, I must say. That's pretty darn cool. I need a screenshot of that. Oh, I wish the mile thing wasn't there. Pretty darn cool, I'd say. We're still climbing, though, but it's not climbing here. So what are we actually at? <laughs> I don't know. 275,000. It's That's it. Not going up any higher than that, but it's still going up. We're still holding Mach 10. I can see there. Yeah, we're Mach 10.1. Holy outer space. That's pretty darn cool, I think. Mach 10. A320 there. C172. <laughs> Stop counting again here, but it's counting on this one. All right, looks like we're coming back to the main. Well, this is all land, mainland here too, but the main mainland, we'll say. At Mach 10. Wow, that's fast. And I don't know when you should slow down. <laughs> I have no idea. It might just fly right over us here and uh, let's let it run out of fuel. It's probably not going to take long. It's already down to 49, so. I'm kind of surprised how well it's tracked along the line here. I don't have any autopilot on. Maybe it's auto autopilot. I don't really know, but. Pretty darn cool, anyways. We'll have to do some more flights with this. I'm actually kind of a little short on time myself. Uh, I wasn't expecting the first failure there. We probably would have made it here, but uh, anyways, we did. We got her. <laughs> we got her going, that's for sure. Got her lit right up. What a view up here. Man, that's pretty darn cool. Wish you could go higher. Apparently it is still going higher. That's still climbing at 50,000 feet. And you know, what do we got? Yeah, we're up. I'm just letting her climb. And honestly, I don't know if it's actually climbing climbing anymore. I kind of doubt it. I'm sure it's like hit its limit there, what the game will actually let you get to. Because there's probably nothing past this to draw anything. Like they haven't, you know, drawn anything past this, right? So it's still climbing, yes, but it's not still climbing. Past this 275,000 feet. But, uh, anyways, 546, 44, 43, 42. Holy smokes. That is so incredibly fast. I love it. It's awesome. But, anyways, um, we'll have to do another flight here, too. Like I say, I'm kind of short on time because of that uh, mess up there. But, um, what happens if we kill the engines here now? Oh, she starts slowing down fast. Yep, she's slowing down, that's for sure. The red's leaving and everything. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now we've got it really messed up. Uh-oh. That thing would have just tore itself apart, I'm sure. Oh, boy, I can't even look in here. That's not good. <laughs> boy, it doesn't take you long to get yourself all messed up with this thing, does it? Uh-oh. Good luck ever trying to get that back. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> 
Hit the afterburner, straighten it back out. Oh, we're heading straight down now. Get back to some air. I think there's the air so thin up here, you don't really have anything to kind of stabilize you to keep you, to get you back, right? But anyways, there is the Dark Star. We're going interstellar almost, kind of. It's awesome. And uh, that's something we're definitely going to have to do some more messing with. Try some worldwide flights, maybe. That'd be kind of cool. Go right around. I don't know if you could do that or not, but... Come on, baby. Come on. No, I, got, I think I got her all messed up now. Oh, maybe we're getting her back. I guess get the nose down. There we go. Get her back under control here. Only doing a thousand knots there now from what we were doing. Yeah, we're under that... Uh... Well, let's see if we can light up these engines again here, just for fun, quickly here. We get our speed back up. And we'll just uh, see what happens here. Going down at 30. That should get the speed up. Well, let's see if they uh, see if they light up here. It's actually probably too high. Yeah, that's too high. They do need oxygen to, to light. I don't know how they stay lit, but they're still at 140,000 feet. Lots of altitude. Where are we going? We're going Mach 4. Oh, she's lighting up now. Oh, that's interesting. They just closed the door and something else opened up there. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> We're going to crash her into the ground real good here. How far are we going to bounce off the ground here, I wonder? 72, 70,000 feet, 68, 65, 60,000 feet. We're going Mach almost 6. Oh boy, that ground's coming up real fast. Oh boy. Yeah, we're into the real thick air now. You can see it's really unstable. I don't know who we're going to crash into here, but um, sorry, whoever's down there. Johnson Fox Airfield. Oh, she actually slowed down a whole lot there. Let's see. Let's see the bounce here. Oh! <laughs> hey, that was pretty cool. Oh, boy. Well, I guess the game crashed. <laughs> That's all I can do with that then. Plane crashed and the game crashed. But anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later. And you guys have a good day. We're going to do some more messing out of that though. That's going to be awesome.